Yes, your highness. What's the matter? I... I have a suit just like that. <laughs> I'm in disguise, your highness. I was trying to run away. Well, here, come sit down. Dauntless, pull up a chair. No, but the queen has ordered me. Never mind what the queen has ordered. Sit here. But your highness... Sit down. Now, what's this all about? I'll just go out on the parapet and stand there naked and catch a chill and die and that'll show him. Show him what? He'll be sorry. Who? Horrible Harry. You mean big, nice Harry? Just a minute. What did you do to him? What did I do to him? Well, you must have done something. You're talking the way I once did when I was afraid to go home because I'd given my little brother a bloody lip. It was an accident. We had a little disagreement. So you decided to run away? He said some perfectly horrible things to me. Oh, I see. Well, in that case, I guess you were right. I guess about the only thing you can do is pack up and get out. Unless you just go to him and say, sorry. Listen, that Harry's a wonderful boy and he really loves you. Why, we were on the road for two weeks and he never laid a finger on me. Oh, your highness. <laughs> Now you get into something nice that shows you're a girl and patch things up a bit. Oh, and Larkin, try and act a little helpless. Men don't like girls that are too strong. I do. <laughs> oh, your highness, I have no idea how to thank you. If it's a girl, I'm gonna name her Fred. <laughs> what if it's a boy? <laughs> Dallas, you better go to bed and leave the history book. I'm positive you're going to pass Mom's test tomorrow. Well, I'm pretty sure. If you don't, I'll understand. And so, the young Prince Waldir, having slain the dragon Fafner, the sword Minning, rescued the princess Frigga, and together they mounted his horse, Frigga, and they went to the castle Wonderbar, where they were married and lived happily ever after. Well, I'm glad. <laughs> they all lived happily, happily.